Okay, so here with the interactive lighting adjust, I keep coming back to this. Sorry, I'm going to get to the color correction of the computer screens and so forth, but I want to just want to make an adjustment on here. If you go ahead and hit play, you can see that the it looks like the interactive lighting is is working, but there's like a faded tone to this. It's almost like it's not saturated and so forth. And the reason being, of course, is that we have set our whites, we have set our blacks, but it's the midtones that are kind of having a little bit of struggle maintaining this kind of uh, color of blue. So you could do a couple things in here. You could actually uh, do another interactive setup and kind of plug it through the gamma or a color correct dedicated to the midtones. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to come back to my white point plane and actually resample the color. If I go back to the crop node, you'll see that the actual cursor's down here, and I won't be able to move it, so I have to turn off reformat to reset the keys. So now if I come over here to the first frame, um, and I don't know why it seems offset. I don't know if I, between lessons, screwed it up. But anyway, I'm going to redo it again. So I'm going to take this uh, right here, and I'm, instead of actually sampling this area right here for the, the uh, white point, I'm actually going to move it down here. So I'm just going to take this right here and bring it like that and get, get some more of these uh, tones right here. And I'm going to delete, first off, I'm going to delete all these keys by right-clicking and saying no animation. And again, making this window a little bit bigger for the average. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just set a key this time. So set a key. And I'll just make a couple keys. But I'm going to get more into this pinkish area here. I'm sorry, the saturated area here, not this highlight area. So I'll just, uh, yeah, just making keys here as I move along. All right, so I'm going to get more into the color information. It's way down here a little bit. See that? So it's more like the mid-tone values. Uh, as I go through this. So with that said, I can come now and take this curve tool and we, we're going to re uh, go in here and redo this curve tool. So I'll just go with the average again. It's going to scan all that information. Oops, before I forget, make sure you hit reformat before you do that. So now it's going to take this information and then do the curve tool and then do go and hit OK. And it's going to get the average of these pixels. And then that's going to get obviously propagated to the drive of the white point again for the gain. So now if we take a look at this, I'll go to the merge node here, you can see we have a more accurate representation of the image. You can see that. And if you wish, you can take this grade node here and take the mix down. So you can see you can kind of uh, dial in the intensity of the influence here. So if you find this to be a little bit too bright, and of course you can go into the grade here and take the multiplier and bring that up and down if you wish. So if you need to make it a little bit brighter or something to match up. Now you can see we have a more accurate reality here as far as the match of our scene. So again, this is interactive lighting, which can get a little bit a bit nutty, uh, but again, it is it is what it is. You know, like I said. So again, you can see over here we we did the average of this area here, and that's just this little area here. That's so you can see our. Uh, blacks are matching up nicely. So again, just that little thing in case you ever get in that circumstance where some crazy director walks up to you and you're the VFX supervisor and he's like, hey, can you put a monster in a scene? I'm going to throw a couple disco balls in the shot and uh, you know, have some flashing strobe lights. And you're like, uh, first off, you make sure that camera is uh, definitely has no rolling shutter and has a global shutter. And uh, then you can go ahead and you know, shoot your cards and uh, you know all your charts and then you know, if you can, um, but I don't know if that's going to really help in that circumstance. You know, you're going to have this situation where you have to be keyframing. So anyway, that's it.